Well, hello everybody. I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. I'm shooting this on a early Wednesday afternoon here in South Alabama and all was good here in my world. Um, went to the gym this morning. I don't know. I've been feeling like the gym in the morning this week. Just, I don't know, no reason why other than I feel like it. So I've already been to the gym for the day. Um, had some nice green ice cream for um, lunch. And I'm just trying to get ahead a little bit because um, I got some plans coming up and I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm getting a little restless here in Alabama. So anyhow, subject of today's video is Raw Vegan Road Trip, how I'm scouting Florida, and more on Costa Rica. Some little something something I talked about. I think it was a couple of weeks ago. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that uh, subscribe button now and click on that little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. That might be a good um, something for you to do on all your channels is to go through your channels if you want to keep seeing when they have videos out and make sure that, you're, um, that you've checked that little box. Just one of those little quirky things on YouTube. Yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm going on a little road trip in a couple of days. It's not a long road trip. Um, it's about, in fact, it's only going to be about an hour and a half to two hour drive, if that. And I used to live there. I'm going down to Destin, Florida for three nights. Um, I got myself a little hotel there and I'm meeting up with some friends that I made at the Woodstock Fruit Festival. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, it's going to be some fun. Like I say, I'm, I mean, you know, I'm happy to be here. It's, it's great hanging out with my mom. It's nice having a regular gym to go to. Got transportation. So there's a lot of positives from being here, but I'm still kind of in that same situation I was on the mountain. I don't really know people around here. I'm not really have a lot of common with people in this area. Um, I've been trying to go to Pensacola more, but I don't get a lot of conversation. So it's going to be nice to get out and see some people. And, 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 I hope you guys will follow along. Make sure and check me out on Instagram because I do stuff. I do stories a lot on Instagram and um, I'll be sharing a lot on there, but I will, I'm going to be shooting some video stuff too. Um, there's like, there's this little uh, raw vegan food truck um, that I'm looking forward to checking out. It's actually not in Destin. It's in a little community called Seaside, which is probably about, oh, I don't know if I remember right, half an hour from Destin. So looking forward to that. Looking forward to eating some raw vegan food that somebody else prepares. Um, I've seen I've seen some of their stuff. I haven't seen a menu, but uh, they've got um, acai bowls. They've got like wraps, a lot of good stuff. So I'm really stoked about that. And I hope I'll be able to get some good video out of it um, and hopefully make some new contacts and maybe meet some more vegans there. I'm really wanting to reach out to the vegan community in this area if there is much of one. Um, so going down to um, Destin for three days, supposed to be good weather too. Um, I'm kind of scouting a little bit Florida because, you know, I did that and I'll get to that part later. I talked about um, possibly doing a little trip to Costa Rica here, latter part of the year or, or, or next year, which is looking more feasible right now. But, um, you know, I'm always thinking staying in the U.S., it's, uh, you know, people sometimes it might be a little bit easier for people to travel. Now, like I say, with all these things, don't go to formal. Don't start going thinking like events, retreats, all that kind of stuff. I'm just talking about like, if let's, let's get some vegan folks together and hang out and eat some food. It doesn't have to be all that complicated. I mean, I, I'm not one of those type people unless you need your days planned out. But, um, but no, let's not make it anything all that big deal. I'm just kind of looking for people to hang out with. I'm looking for tribe. I'm looking for some interaction. So, um, you know, who knows? Maybe if somebody has some, uh, if, we, if you can get away at that time of the year, because not everybody goes away in the summertime. A lot of people that don't have kids and stuff like to get, out, get away for the winter. So I'm going to kind of scout some uh, stuff out in the area down where I'm going. Now, where I'm going, if you're not familiar with Destin, Florida, nowhere near the bottom, the, like Miami or whatever. This is all the way at the top of the state, almost. We're, we're talking almost Alabama, where I am. But um, there's some really pretty beaches there. And that area doesn't tend to be so expensive, especially in the off season. Although there are, there's a fairly good snowbird community that comes there. So um, yeah, I'm just going to check some places out, see what some prices are. I'm just always spinning ideas. If you haven't figured that out, I'm always spinning ideas. And if there's people interested, I'll come out and play. Just have, we just have to see if there's enough people. 
Um, I do remember there's this little magazine I get at the health food store I go to in Pensacola and also at the um, restaurant down there that there was a retreat place down east of Destin, um, kind of out and out off the beaten path a little bit, but I haven't seen it recently, so I don't know. Um, just looking to see, you know, like basically the only thing I look at is I go through Airbnb, I go check out with some old friends, and just look for a place that you could potentially rent that could hold, you know, a number of people, however big the group was, uh, you know, getting accommodations for 8, 10, 12 people, however many people wanted to get together and just play. Don't be, it doesn't have to be this thought out plan. Be more like kids, play. Now I know what some of the adults will tell me out there, but we can't do that. Okay, if you can't do it, you can't do it. You ain't got to tell me all your reasons why you can't do it, but there are some people out there that like to play and they have the time to play a little bit and they you know, want to get away from time to time um, with like-minded people. That's, one, that's something that I, that's really been uh, uh, in my head since Woodstock is um, not only do I want to be around people a little bit more, but I want it to be like-minded people. I mean, you know, at, at, at the age of 53 and having lived how I lived in the past, I've lived on the other side. I've hung out with, you know, drinkers and people that do other stuff and nothing, listen, it's not being judgmental when I want to, when I say I want to hang out with like-minded people, but that's just where my interests lie. And it's just so much easier and it's just so much fun when you're with people eating the same way with you, thinking the same way. And I just think it'd be a lot of fun. Um, so I'm going to go down there. I'm going to play. I'm going to eat raw food. Um, I'm going to, you know, keep my eyes open for some potential um, Airbnb, some little locations. Um, as far as Costa Rica, now I don't know how well you keep up with the news, but um, that little storm, uh, Nate, that ended up bypassing us, by the way, that little storm, Nate, did quite a number in Costa Rica. Now it's not one of the areas that the, the main area that I'm interested in going to um, it didn't get destroyed or anything but it got hit rather hard so in fact there's been a lot of um, I know there's been bridges out and I've, I've people there's a couple of Facebook groups that I kind of keep up with that area and transportation's been tough recently so it and and I know a couple of homes got destroyed and there was stuff in that area so um, you know, because of that, because of that to a large extent, but just, you know, just kind of hard to put a trip together so quickly. It's more than likely going to be in 2018 before potentially anything happens in Costa Rica. Now, any of you that uh, reached out to me, I think I've uh, messaged back everybody that, re that wrote to my inbox about being interested in Costa Rica. Like I say, I'll keep you up to date on that and, um, you know, maybe start, maybe as more people are interested. I'll float potential times and dates. Now here's the whole thing though I'm thinking all the time. It's kind of like what you call herding cats. We're talking with just random people that are writing me. Now the chances that we're going to find a group that can all clear the same time to get away exactly, um, you know, that's just not all that, <laughs> that likely. So I don't know. I'm just like I say, I'm going to keep my my, my, my mind open, my ideas open, and keep looking down there because, you know, it could even potentially be something instead of doing everybody go one week, maybe I find a place, maybe there's enough people that could go within one month, maybe I go get a place for a month, and some people would come week one, week two, week three, and week four. <clears throat> Another reason why I don't really feel comfortable trying to throw something together here at the end of this year is, but like I say, uh, the storm as well. But also too, I had a contact down there and she's just kind of disappeared. Um, she's not really an internet type person. And I think I've been pushing her in the past. I was pushing her a little bit like, get some internet. I'll even help you with internet. Do this, do that. Just not really an internet person. So I don't really have a connection down there like I thought I did. So it's hard for me to, I don't have people to, I don't have somebody to reach out to and get the real skinny down there. I've reached out to that area before, but everybody starts thinking dollars and they start giving me, they start proposing things to me and locations to me that are kind of high dollar, that are, you know, not exactly what we're looking for here. So she's not, uh, she, I've, she's kind of going AWOL. I'm not able to get in touch with her. And, and I'm really kind of disappointed in this. I reached out um, 
I, you know, I told you I was down there in September of 2015, rented a little bungalow in the jungle. Well, I finally reached out and wrote to the lady that I had contacted before and had uh, talked to, and she sold the place. And I haven't been able, I haven't heard back from her. I wrote her back and responded and said, "Well, do you um, know what the new owners are doing? Do you have any contact?" She didn't respond, so. I'm gonna see if maybe I can uh, get in touch because that place was just perfect. I, I had that place in the back of my mind. I was thinking like, okay, that's actually the place I'm gonna do this thing at. So um, it's kind of back to the drawing board. I need to do a little bit more uh, research and I just don't want to take people to a place sight unseen. I kind of, you know, I've got my certain people I trust. I have certain areas that I know fairly well and then areas I don't. So I just want to get a little bit more solid footing down there before, you know, I try to take a bunch of people down there, even take a small group of people. Although that trip too is just going to be very loose. It's not going to be, you know, okay, it's seven, we get up and do this, and at eight, we do this, and blah, blah, blah. So don't even expect that. Um, but yeah, as far as the Florida thing goes, I'm just going to check out some places there and, um, you know, keep my mind open to other areas in Florida because from time to time, I know I've had a lot of people reach out to me from down there. So if anybody's interested in let's trying to do something in another part of Florida, maybe you're in South Florida, Tampa, Miami, over on the East Coast, um, we can do that. But yeah, I'm getting a little, I'm going to have to, I'm going to be here for a while. People are constantly asking me, when are you going back to Costa Rica? When are you going back to Costa Rica to live? I don't have any plans to go back there to live soon, um, but I think I'm going to be a little restless and I'm going to have to uh, take little short junkets and get out of here for, you know, four or five days at a time, a couple of weeks at a time. Who knows, by winter time, I might be ready to bounce for a month or two. But anyhow, hope you guys will follow along this weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun and uh, you're going to see some beautiful beaches. I don't know where you are in the world. And we affectionately call this part of where I'm going the Redneck Riviera. But some beautiful beaches, just crystal white as this shirt right here. The sand is just crystal white. Looks like snow, looks like powder. So hope you guys will follow along. If you're not already, uh, follow me on Instagram. Same name over there, Raw Tropical Living, Jack Albritton. I'm sure you can find me by my name. So um, yeah, come watch the stories and I will see you again tomorrow, guys. Peace.